Hey everybody, welcome to the presentations for Cohort 1 of Be Health Today. I'm Kevin Popovich, your host for your adventure into innovating behavior health. I'm very excited that we have uh, four teams that are presenting today, very different ideas uh, on uh, opportunities with innovation um, uh, and technology within behavioral health. Um, so um, we will go through one by one uh, in each of the presentations. Uh, now we have some basic guidelines for your presentations. Right, we're gonna try and stick to around the 15 minutes, right? So, you know, uh, 16 minutes, okay. 16 and a half minutes, you're gonna start hearing the music. <laughs> 17 minutes, the hook comes out, right? Because we need to keep everybody on, uh, on, on task uh, and, uh, and on point for sharing the insights that they have uh, generated within each of their different projects, right? After your presentation is over, then we will open it up for questions, comments, uh, so that you can get some immediate feedback, and then we will go directly into evaluation of uh, each of the projects based on some objective criteria. Um, at each of the desks uh, that you'll see, you'll see some forms related to that. If you could take a look at one of those right now, I'll walk you through the things that we're looking for on each of the forms. All right. Um, important will be at the top of the form, the project name. We wanna make sure that we associate the correct evaluation with the correct project. And then we're looking for your name. You are the rater, you are the evaluator, right? Uh, and then today's date, right? so that we can make sure that we can keep all of this information organized uh, and we assign it to the correct project. Um, the things that we'll be taking a look at are things that we have uh, talked about in our learning events, as well as in our workshop and during development. Uh, we'll be talking about the problem statement. Did the presenter articulate a problem statement, right? <coughs> Each team is gonna share a problem statement and all I'm asking for is how well do you understand that problem statement? Does it make sense to you? And then two specifics within there. Do they identify the, uh, did the presenter identify who the project is trying to help within the problem statement? Do you know, do you know the people involved? Uh, as well as did the presenter communicate the project goals or potential outcome? What, what, are, they gonna, what are they gonna try to do uh, or identify within this problem? And then we'll be looking at a project plan. Did they have a plan for moving forward, which each team should have had? Uh, did they, uh, under empathy, did the presenter demonstrate an emotional understanding of the people involved in the problem, right? So we know that is the crux of uh, design thinking, as well as something that's very important uh, in behavioral health, right? Understanding uh, what uh, the people involved are going through, all of the people involved. Next on define, did the presenter update their problem statement based on what they learned? We all know that at the beginning, we uh, have an idea of something that we're going to address, and that through our learning, um, we'll gain more of that emotional uh, insight, and inevitably there will be some change or advancement or evolution of that problem statement. We're looking for, uh, for you to uh, demonstrate your learning and that change made in the problem statement. Uh, next, we're gonna move into IDA. Did the presenter demonstrate divergent thinking, uh, also known as a lot of potential ideas? Remember that we had said that most first ideas are not necessarily the strongest, so we generate a lot of ideas, and then we want to be able to demonstrate that we got some feedback in the decision making which led to uh, our convergent idea, or our one big idea for moving forward. Next, we're gonna take a look at the prototype. Did the presenter share a prototype that well represented their idea? There's one thing to have that, that concept. I can tell you about this, and I know you're very excited about your prototype. Uh, but there's another thing to be able to show something that says, it, this, is, this is what it looks like. This is how it would work. This is how it will all come together. Right? Uh, and then on your test, did the presenter share feedback on their idea from people involved in the problem? Um, and uh, lastly, did the presenter share their story in a manner that was easy to understand? Right? These are all parts of the process that we had shared with you to try and make sure that we set you up for success in innovating uh, your new ideas. Um, and then lastly, um, in the section called overall, we're looking for feasibility, viability, and desirability. In your opinion, is the idea feasible? You know, could it really happen? Uh, in your opinion, is the idea desirable? Um, could people involved really want this, uh, this new idea? And then in your opinion, is the idea viable? Could it work? Now, there's some different options. Poor, fair, good, great, and excellent is one way for you to evaluate each of these items, right? Because we can talk about that, and we're all looking at the same thing, right? And I may say, well, you know, that's good. And they're like, ah, you know, that's, that's better than good. That's great, right? So even by that word selection, we now start differentiating our perspectives. 
And then if you want to take a look at the points associated with it, because for instance, there's, eh, it's good and it's good, right? That's the difference between a four and a six. So we're trying to give you different ways to communicate what you see in each of these projects. There is no wrong or right answer. There is your perspective as an uh, as, uh, outsider looking into the project. And then we're going to uh, capture all this information and share it back with each of the teams. This is a very critical part uh, of feedback, right? Yeah, everybody worked on their project now. Everybody else can share and says, this is what we're seeing in your project. Because cumulatively, our, our goal is to make everybody's project better and come up with uh, proposals that could be um, very interesting for moving forward, right, in some way or another. Um, so uh, lastly, there are some rate of suggested dispositions. Uh, elevate to BHS as is with edits. Uh, connect program team to others and similar work or provide coaching to project team for improvement. So um, do the best that you can on here. Uh, if you have any questions at any point, please raise your hand. Uh, myself, Steve, Chris, uh, any of the rest of our team, make sure that you get the questions that uh, get the answers that you need for your questions so that we can keep.